Smart Leaves has taken on a very large goal, which is to find a new way to innovate in integrated circuits uh, and semiconductors. The driving force behind this is that for 40 to 50 years, we've been experiencing what's called Moore's Law, which is really the foundation for our information age. I talked about as the doubling of transistor density um, every uh, two years. And uh, that process has slowed down. And as a result, um, economic growth uh, has slowed down uh, as well. To give you an idea of the impact of Moore's Law, if you look at information age sector of the economy, um, the uh, growth from 1980 to 2000 was 738% of the average growth in the United States, which pretty much says that um, this entire economy of the United States is really dependent on this output of changing the entire communication and computing infrastructure every two years. So the big question on the table is how are we going to make the new kinds of integrated circuits that impact applications in the same way that Moore's Law did. That is the objective of Smart Lees and you can only achieve that objective by getting together faculty from materials all the way to integrated circuit in one place and having them funded to a level where they can build prototype integrated circuits. And that just wasn't it possible anywhere else except for, for this program. We're introducing new devices into the same kind of manufacturing technology, but doing it in a way that allows the current manufacturing process to basically stay the same, the current design processes stay the same so that you can get results to market quickly. But with that addition of those new devices and materials, you'll be able to design new kinds of integrated circuits that uh, you couldn't do before. One example is um, integrated lighting. So right now, the LED lighting you see is uh, replacing a wire that emits light in incandescent bulbs with an, a very expensive gallium nitride LED. But the rest of the entire system is the same. So the supply chain, the housing, you know, the electronics, everything is discrete and assembled together in order to create this, this new lighting system. That's a classic example of where integrated circuitry can help because you could say I can collapse the entire supply chain and have a lighting system pop out of my uh, silicon fab. So there it's a true disruption where you can take out a lot of cost and create new capabilities. For example, um, if we create lighting surfaces that are lighting chips, uh, there's been a lot of talk about using um, the light itself for communication. So instead of having to use Wi-Fi, which is not as secure, you can use the um, lighting surface itself, it's integrated, if it's an integrated circuit, to communicate to other devices through pulse, a pulse of light that's occurring. Your eye is not that sensitive to very rapidly changing um, frequencies of light, and so therefore you can communicate through um, that lighting circuit into the internet. It's an example of how you're doing something to compress costs by making a new kind of integrated circuit, but it automatically produces new kinds of capability in new markets, and that's exactly the kind of application that we're, we're looking for in, in SMART.